Have you been struggling through Tiny Tina's Wonderlands with terrible loot and you just can't seem to kill those overpowered bosses no matter what you try? The chances are you've been online and you've asked that question. How do I do more damage? Now I know you've asked that question because you've clicked on this video. But do not fear, by the end of this video you will know exactly how these pros do it and it's so easy, anyone with a PC can do it too. I was in the same position as you not so long ago. I spent hours on end and death after death, weapon after weapon, trying to kill those Chaos Level 17 bosses and barely making a dent in their seemingly overpowered health. There's even a video on this channel of a boss fight that took me and my friend 30 minutes to complete, so do be sure to check that out once we've finished here. After that long and painful fight, I went online, I watched video after video, read post after post and asked question after question. The only answer I ever got back was increase your loot luck, keep working for better weapons and spells, and keep fighting those bosses and it will get easier. But that doesn't really answer the question on how do you get better loot. So to answer that question, how do you get the best weapons in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands? It is all about modded weapons. Now, there is a website which you can go to, which is called nexusmods.com. I am going to link that in the description down below. You'll be able to copy and paste that into a web browser. And on this site, you can pretty much get any possible modded weapon, spell, or even a full account playthrough for absolutely free. Now, the first thing you are going to need to do when you go on to nexusmods.com, you are going to need to create an account, but it is going to be completely free. It will take you just a couple of seconds to do. The only thing I would recommend is probably try and use an email address that you don't use very often. I haven't had any spam or junk or anything come from this, but there is no guarantee. So once you have set up your account, you are then going to be free to download whatever mods that you like. And as I said, there are even mods down here that will give you a complete finished game with a few clicks of a button and you will you will pretty much be at end game within seconds but we're not going to go do that we're just going to get a couple of weapons from here now i have already downloaded this just for testing purposes so for the instance of this video we are going to go for this one here which is a profile save modded bank items so if you click on this it is going to show you some screenshots of what that mod does come with and you'll have a load of description in there everything at the bottom. So all you're going to want to do on here is you need to go up to the very top where it says download and click on manual. From here it'll open up another screen where you can select various different parts of that package or if you just select the very top one then that's going to give you everything that you're going to need for this video. So if you click on manual download, it's going to bring up a screen here now. You can pay for a premium membership with Nexus Mods if you wish, but the standard free one will work just as well. So if you click on download, it's going to bring up a download screen, which is probably going to take about five seconds or so for it to download. Depending on your internet connection will determine how quickly this does download. But for me, it's already downloaded. It's down the bottom here. So if I click on this, it is going to open our files. Now this is in a zipped folder. So you are going to need to extract these files. Just leave it on the destination that it is on and it's going to extract those files for you and if you make sure you do have it ticked for show extracted files when complete that way once it's done it's going to load up a new screen for you now these are your downloaded files so we've got a one.sav file and we have a profile.sav now they are the files that we have just downloaded Next thing you are going to need to do is if you open a new folder here and you are going to be hunting for my PC or this PC and within this section you're going to have an option there for documents. If you click on documents and then click on my games, 
Tiny Tina's Wonderlands and then saved and then click on saved games and this is the folder that will hold all of your data for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Best thing you can do in case you do mess anything up if you copy this and then just go to your desktop and paste and that will paste a copy of your current game file onto your desktop. So if you do mess anything up, you can quite easily just copy and paste it back and have everything exactly as it was. So from this folder here, if you then click on this, these are your saved files. Now one.sav, that is gonna be your main character that you use in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. If you have completed and got to chaos level 35 and game level 40 then you will probably have some additional characters that you've started doing as well so you may have 2.sav 3 and 4.sav now the profile.sav at the bottom here this is your main save file that is going to hold everything within your backpack and storage and everything else relating to the game. So you do not want to touch this at all. Do not change that, otherwise you could lose everything that you've already created. So if we then go back to our downloaded files, now this does say 1.sav. So if we were to copy this over straight away, it's gonna overwrite my main game and I don't want that to happen. So what we are gonna do is just to rename this one and we're gonna rename this as 3.sav. And then all you need to do is to drag that over into this folder. So then we have got three game saves in here. So we can close this down now, we don't need that at all. The only other thing you're gonna need to do from here is to load up your Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Now, I do use mine from the Epic Games Store. Uh, if you have downloaded it from elsewhere, then you may or may not get this screen popping up. But the first time that you do load into Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, you may get this screen popping up. If it does, just click on Upload to Cloud. That way the data from your PC is gonna upload to the cloud and it is then gonna set it up on the cloud with our modded weapons. So I'm just gonna let this load in and then we get straight into the next part of your modded weapons. Okay, now once it does load up to your main screen, what you are gonna do is click on play, and then you need to go down to load character. Now this will be your main character that you have got set up. If you have got a second character that you've been working on, that will be underneath. But the third character at the very bottom, that is gonna be the one that we have just added into our save file. So if you click on that to make sure that that character is loaded and then go back and continue, it is gonna load you into your game. Now, once you do get into the game itself, this is going to be the character that this modded person has set up for us. And these are gonna be all of the weapons and everything that they have got in their backpack. So you can see on the right hand side here that the backpack is way over its storage limit. It is RAM filled with any possible modded weapon that you could think of and spells as well. So what we are gonna need to do from here, if you come down and find your storage device and if you come over to your storage and you're gonna open up your storage spaces here now if you then go across to deposit this will show you all of the weapons that are currently in that backpack and then you can then select whichever ones that you want and you can deposit them into your storage so just for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna pop in a couple of different ones from here. So these are all going into our storage. And then when we go on to the storage, we can see all the various different weapons that we've just put in. 
Now, once you have put over everything that you want to put in, which just to remind you as well, you are gonna have things like spells as well, which are gonna give you some massive amounts of damage. You can get some loot luck ones, which are pretty much gonna guarantee you legendary loot. So even if you only use these for a short amount of time, then the amount of loot luck that you are gonna get from playing your normal games Chances are you're going to get some really good weapons in the process and then you'll be able to get rid of modded's and get them out of the way and carry on playing as normal. But you can get everything from your spells and you can get uh, your abilities and everything in between that you can use then to boost that game for you. So once you have done everything, you're going to come back out of your storage. Now, what you'll need to do from here is you need to go on quit game. And when you do that, go to main menu. Once it does load into your main menu, then you're going to be able to go back onto play, go to load character, and you will be able to switch to your main character again. Once you've switched to your main character, go back on continue, and it's gonna load you back into the game. Once you get in there, all you will need to do then is just go over to your storage, and you can just take them out of your storage, put them into your normal backpack, and you will have all of those modded weapons. But yeah, that is how you get your modded weapons. Hope you do find this useful. If you do, don't forget to drop a like down below, smash that subscribe, and until the next one, have a fantastic day and stay safe, my friends.